Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project is going to be an art journal page. I'm working in my Prima A5 mixed media book on a pre gessoed page. The colours that I'm adding here are golden fluid acrylics and they are Nicolazo yellow and teal. To lighten the colours in places and blend them together easier, I use some golden gesso. So I'm applying it here with a paintbrush and then later after I've added the teal colour I also use a baby wipe to make the blending easier. Once I'm happy with my background, I'm selected a Tim Holtz stamp. This is from a set called Ultimate Grunge, and I'm using Archive Link in the colour Garden Patina to stamp with. I've chosen a second stamp to stamp over the centre of the page. This is Mesh Background by Darkroom Door and I'm stamping using Archive Link in Saffron. For the text on my page I've chosen a stamp set that I've found on eBay. I've stamped it out in advance so that I can visualise the placement before stamping it directly onto my page using Archival Link in Jet Black. To add some texture to my page I've chosen a stencil by Prima and I'm applying this using some modelling paste by Liquitex. After the modelling paste has dried, I'm going to paint it using a combination of golden fluid acrylic in Payne's Grey mixed with some iridescent medium. To darken the edges of my page, I'm using the same combination of Payne's Grey and Iridescent Medium, although I've chosen to dilute it for the border of the page. After this, I take a Posca paint pen in black to go over my lettering and define it and make it darker.
to create more interest in the page I've selected a butterfly stamp by Cardio. I'm stamping this three times onto my page using archival ink in jet black and once the ink has dried I decide to paint it using a silk acrylic glaze in the colour teal zircon. To complete my page I'm adding some splatters using some diluted black acrylic paint and then I take the same paint with a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam and go around the borders. That is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. As always, there is a link in the video description to the full product list and there is also links to my social media, including my mixed media challenge group over on Facebook.